Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tolkis Plays Pokemon Ash Gray. Now, dear viewer, you may be saying to yourself, Self, why is Tolkis starting the episode in the middle of a battle? Why is he starting us with a Metapod when we left off with a Caterpie? Why is Tolkis so handsome? These are all valid questions, and the answer to two out of three of these questions is that training a Caterpie is boring. You may also notice that the party is cleaned up somewhat. Now, I did run back through the Viridian Forest so as to not possibly trigger a cutscene we might be about to have at Pewter City. I got rid of the other two Pokemon because we did discuss in the last episode only trying to play through with the anime party that Ash had. So well, right now we have Pikachu, Pidgeotto, and at this point, going into Pewter City, we should have a Butterfree. Um, but trying to grind a Caterpie up from 5 to 10 uh, when Metapod does not gain any attack power is uh, its an ordeal and it took me a while. So we did it off screen. Here we are. And we're going to have this Butterfree heading into Pewter City. I want to say thank you to everyone for tuning back in today. Really appreciate the support we've been getting on the series. Uh, Everybody's been just so great, and we really do appreciate it. There we go. I hope you guys have been having a good day. I'm having a great day, especially because now we have a Butterfree. So let's just take a look at the party. Alright, so Pikachu is lagging somewhat behind, uh, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I just didn't want to um, have to, like, it would have took a whole episode if I had done the training with Caterpie in real time, and if I had tried to montage it, I mean, it's just not that exciting, to be honest with you. I mean, it only knows Tackle, and there's only really the Weedle and the Caterpie and the occasional Pidgey that you run into. I know we caught a Pidgeotto in here. I've not run into another one in all this time I've been training. So I don't know that there are any more that you can naturally run into. That might have just been a scripted event. I do want to save because this has been a while. You may notice that the save file, the clock is about 45 minutes ahead of where it was when we left off. So I'm not sure if this is going to trigger a cutscene if I go by. I'm going to try that first. Okay, it doesn't trigger. So let's just go talk to this guy. Okay, so this guy's name's Flint. I'm standing on some rocks, which are apparently his merchandise. He actually has a shop I could buy. Well, a hardstone. I'm actually going to pick one of these. I know this on an eighth like, event, but um, it's a useful little item. I say that. If we stick with the party that um, Ash had in the anime, I don't think we'll ever use it. But... This guy is important in the anime, and I'm wondering, you know, that was a little bit lackluster. I was expecting a little bit more out of that, so uh, we'll just see where it goes from there. So this is different from the base game, for sure. Not a surprise anymore. There used to be an item in the base game in this little area, I wonder. doesn't seem to be here anymore. We'll just kind of take a look around the town real quickly, see what's different and what's the same. I don't remember these people. Okay, so yeah, you can give Pokemon items. Yep, that hard stone I bought would be a great example of a held item that makes Pokemon stronger. Here's the gym. Now, uh, this is probably going to be the day when we... Aha, that is still there. From the base game. Thank you. Um... This is going to be the day when we find out for sure whether we can do what we wanted to do and whether um, having the anime party is really a viable option. Um, well, this is a circuitous little path. Concentration. All right. Uh, because we're going to try to fight Brock. I'm going to go do it right now. Because I'm afraid that with what we have... No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I was talking. I didn't read this. To be as tough and ornery as they can be, 
I'm gonna have to toughen up your Pokemon too for the price of just one yellow shard. Well, I don't have one, and I'm not sure that I, I don't. I don't know what you mean. Does that just raise them up a level? I don't know. Oh, this must be. I know whose house this is. No spoilers quite yet. Pewter has a hydroelectric. Okay, so maybe there is gonna be some uh, some story stuff going on here. All right, so we are. Like I said, I'm gonna just uh, I'm just gonna go ham. We're gonna go in, and we're gonna challenge this gym. No, no safe. Why would we safe? Uh, I'm not gonna lead with Pikachu. I'm I'm crazy. I'm not that crazy. Did you normally? I feel like Buttertree learns confusion at level ten. So I'm wondering if this is something they changed purposefully for this ROM hack to keep you from having a chance of beating Brock. Okay, he's mentioning Pikachu even though it's not in the front of the party. I'm wondering how much of this is scripted. Because in the anime, this goes a very particular way. Okay, so base game, he would normally have a Geodude first. Okay, it's gonna immediately... Oh, he survived. That was... That was weird. Oh, okay. You might be wondering why everything looks a little lackluster. Um, it will be because when I was training in an effort to speed things up, I turned the battle animations off. So uh, we might just have to deal with that for a while. Okay, so Butterfree's going to go down. I'm wondering if you're supposed to lose, because I don't... I don't see a way you really could realistically win. I'm gonna try. See, that didn't miss. I got a critical hit, as a matter of fact. And Pikachu literally, I don't know that can do anything. Its electric attacks will not affect it. Maybe I should have led with Pikachu and use the Tail Whip. I don't know why he's screeching. One rock feather would probably knock me out at six levels lower. Okay, a tackle. Just about did. And I can't... Look, I'll even do it just to prove. Holy crap! Is... Wait, is Onyx not... Ground type? Is this something they changed? This is why I love playing wrong Max. Okay. So this is scripted. You cannot win. I think the game will force you to lose. There's just no way, no matter what you do. See, you don't when you normally wide out, you go back to your last Pokemon Center. So he specifically told me I wasn't strong enough to come back later. Okay, yeah, scripted. So we're about to find out who the guy is who owns the little rock store. So I'm thinking. Uh, it's okay that Pikachu was a little under level. So that house we walked into with nine little brothers and sisters, all the little kids running around, that's Brock's house. His good-for-nothing dad left, went off to be a Pokemon trainer, never come back. His mom dies. Let this sink in for a minute. This is Pokemon. This anime come out in, what, 99? 1999. I was upset. As a child, to hear this story within like the first uh, less than a dozen episodes at, for sure of the anime that Brock is basically a single parent whose dad ran off and whose mom is dead. My lord. They used to have some cojones with, uh, with cartoon storylines. Oh. He gave me the light ball. Okay, so this is not something I think is even in this generation normally. So he just gave me an item. In the anime, I think they hooked Pikachu up to the hydroelectric dam. And um, basically it turns out some more juice. And now I'm curious. Is it holding something? Do I need to... Let me see if I have the item to give to it. Yeah, I have it. 
It raises attack and special attack. Okay, well it clearly wants me to do this with Pikachu and I'm wondering again how much of this is scripted. And I'm wondering if Brock is gonna... So different dialogue. Now guys, you may... I don't know, this might be an absolute fail. I just do not know. This is one of the joys of ROM hacks. I just love finding out new stuff. Wait, is he only going to use the Geodude this time? Well, it does some better, but... Electricity's power has been weakened. So it's doing less again. Is it not going to use damage in moves? Is it just... I'm very confused right now. Oh god, see? Like, one more tackle. Peeked you out. Yeah, okay. I forgot to turn the battle animation. Anima Words? Animations back off. Let's see if we can finish it up where we're at. Can you do it? Okay, so it does actually resist. And its physical defense is going to be really high right now. But it's got to be doing at least one damage. I, um, Pokemon can never get to the point where they don't take damage at all from attacks. So it has to be doing at least one damage. Paralysis helping us out. Sad thing is now Pikachu was our lowest level Pokemon. He's not going to get any experience off of this fight. So they've clearly altered the typing to where at least this Pikachu can damage ground Pokemon with its electrical moves. Okay, so it's mentioned in the sprinklers. We brought this up in the last episode. So the sprinklers are going off. This is how Pikachu beats Onyx in the anime. All the brothers and sisters show up telling me what a horrible, horrible person I am. He tells them to back off because of an official match. Now we actually have to have the proper fight? And I don't even have Pikachu. <laughs> no. It's raining. It wants me to have... Oh, God. It wants me to have Pikachu. Um, Alright, I'm going to fight this battle out. I don't think it's going to go well. I don't have a revive at this point in the game. Um, and then we may just have to reset and do this over again because I really want to see how it's supposed to play out and I hope you guys are, are happy going along for that ride because that's the uh, the story stuff is really what I want to get out of this ROM hack I want to see how, how adherent they were he just misses for no reason. I'm going to put him to sleep just because that's what I would normally do if I was being serious about trying to win this fight. Okay, so we're not going to be able to beat this thing. With Pikachu, do I, I don't have a revive, I'm sure. Okay. So, okay. Here's the thing. I know where we're at right now. I'm not going to be able to win this fight. What I'm going to do is a um, silly me. I did not save the game uh, after we fought this the first time, after we got the light ball from the power plant thing. I'm going to reset the game. I'm going to play through the first loss that it scripted. I'm going to get the light orb. I'm going to probably um, bring you right back and we'll try to beat Geodude with another Pokemon and we'll try to save Pikachu for the fight with the Onyx. And uh, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. I played through this uh, back up to kind of the point where we were-ish. We have the light ball. We're going to give it to Pikachu. I didn't train up. I didn't do any extra levels. I just purposely went ahead and lost um, a little quicker the first time. Flint took us to the hydroelectric dam. We're coming back.
I want to see. I'm going to go ahead and drop a save right here. I want to see how difficult this is to do the way the game wants you to do it. I may have to go train Pikachu up. Um, I don't really want to overtrain the rest of the team, but his Onyx is at level 14, so who knows. But I find this really interesting. I really like the direction they took it. Um, the way it's designed, the way it matches sort of anime. I didn't think they'd be able to get it this close, and it's very good. It's very, very close. I don't think it's particularly fast, but we'll go ahead and drop its speed just to, to be safe. Alright, that's a joke. I'm going to wait for it to wake up. And then I'm probably going to put it back to sleep and swap out to Pikachu. The bad thing about it being slower is I think you just lose the turn of, um, of the sleep. Then we have to lose one, of course. I have a plan here, in case you're wondering why I'm not using the boosted electrical attack. Okay, so that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm hoping that this Geodude doesn't actually know a rock type move. I don't know that it does. Um, now it's kind of offsetting the fact that I lowered its defense. Yeah, this is still going to take a hot minute. But I would, I really want to save Pikachu for the Onyx fight. I don't want it to take a, an overabundance of damage because it's going to have a tough enough time against the Onyx. So it's just it's just fighting against me, pretty bad. But I, I do love this. So this is going to take a minute. While it is taking a minute, if you enjoy the video, do please drop a like. If you enjoy the content that you see on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. That way you get notified when a new episode drops. Um, I have been trying my best to remember when I'm uploading videos to put the new uh, upload schedule in the description. So uh, we will be uploading hopefully four videos a week, and uh, which ones should be down below. You can check that out. Um, a tweet goes out with each new episode as well. So if you want to go ahead and follow the Twitter associated with the channel, that would be great. And there is a viewer. Uh, goes by the username JUU. I'm going to assume that's Ju. Uh, they commented on a video. And I told them that they would be named after the next new Pokemon that we captured in the series. Now, we're, I don't think we're going to be getting a new Pokemon in this episode, but I do want to let you know I didn't forget. Uh, we are absolutely going to nickname the next Pokemon after you. You will be immortalized on YouTube in this playthrough. So, uh, thank you very much for your support. And uh, if anyone else would like to see themselves added to this series or one of the others on the channel, uh, by all means... Uh, drop a comment down below with either a name that you'd like to see added or just put that your username's there and you'd like to see yourself in the series. That doesn't have to be a unique name, it can just be your username. And we will happily make you a part of the playthrough. It may get a bit difficult to, um, to only keep the party Pokemon as the ones named for people just because um, I'm actually going to let Pidgeotto get knocked out here if, if it goes, yeah. I'm okay with this. Because the Geodude is going to be able to be knocked out by the Butterfree. So, um, because, like I mentioned before, Ash, not the best Pokemon trainer. Not, not the best. And so, um, he doesn't have a huge party. We're going to catch at least three more, I know, and then Butterfree, um, may or may not be with us for a huge amount of time. So, <laughs> if you've seen the anime, you know what I mean. So we do have some coming up, but if we do happen to run out of active party Pokemon while we're sticking to the anime, uh, we will capture a special Pokemon just for you. 
by all means we'll do that. I don't want anybody to feel left out. Or if you'd rather be on the Platinum series where we're catching plenty of Pokemon, can do that too. This is gonna knock Butterfree out. Now let's just see how this light ball Pikachu in the rain does. Oh my, are you kidding me? That's with the light ball and it's raining. That was with the light ball and it's raining. Well, who cares if it paralyzed him? We're out. I want to see what it tells me now that we've lost again. Now we just basically white out. Okay. We're going to get a mini lecture from Nurse Joy. This is crazy. I really thought that if they were going to go so far as scripting the battle that heavily, that they would script you to kind of win. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what you're supposed to do in this situation. Because um, the Geodude, not particularly difficult. I mean, its moveset's not that much to worry about it just knows tackle it seems as far as damaging moves go but even with uh, something to boost its attack and special attack Pikachu even I don't I don't quite I don't think it did any extra damage than it would have done otherwise now let's see if it reflects it in the actual stats so we're at a, a 14 and 16 attack and special attack So it's not going to show us actually in in the um, stats what it does. So I'm not sure. I tell you what, guys, we're actually I think pretty well at the end of an episode. I really wanted to do the pewter gym today, but now I'm at a crossroads where I'm going to have to probably train Pikachu up to match. The Onyx, which is going to kind of suck because the Onyx is at level 14, Pikachu's at level. What? Okay, so he's just telling me that I have to stay here, so I can't go ahead and train on trainers. I always thought that was a dumb thing about Pewter City. Just, there's trainers right there. Just let me go train. So, actually, what I'm going to do instead of. Um, having wasted two potions in that battle and just I wanted to see if it was scripted it's clearly not scripted as much as it might lead you to believe but what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it off here when we come back we're gonna be at the save where we just were before we fought Brock the second time and what we'll probably start off with is a little training montage uh, just get Pikachu up probably try to get the whole team to at least 12 so better and Pikachu up a little bit more and then I'll probably try to get Pikachu to 14 and we'll just see what we can do from there. So I appreciate everybody who came out today to support the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful time. Until we see each other again, God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.